scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast, the last of the Dark Eyes week. Yes, it's time for the Eyes of the Master. It's Dark Eyes 2, Episode 4. All of the storylines are coming together and we've got Alex McQueen turning up with his Hello You storyline. It's got a period feel, but it happens, well, it happens in our childhood. It just works. You've got Molly O'Sullivan, you've got characters from earlier who are now old and are blind. Yes, the good old-fashioned blindness that Big Finishes love so much to ram down our neck every time we deal with a character and narration. Because blind characters can be blind without it affecting the storyline and have stuff described to them. Yes, you know all this because it's audio, but that's just fine. You like this story and so do I. We've bed with it so far. Yes, it does have a very odd ending, but we can come back to that one in a moment. Alex McQueen, friend of Capaldi, is, in my view, the single best master. He's actually calculating and he's got motivation. He's not just insane or desperate to impress his boyfriend. Yes, big Finnish love eyes, and this story is called The Eyes of the Master. He is replacing people's eyes with something nasty. And some sort of computer he's allowed to control. He's allowed to learn to view things. Yes, there are references made back from Time's Horizon, which are almost tenuous, but they do work. But, of course, this also has a a seeding property for the next Dark Eyes series. Uh, Sometimes that works. Sometimes that makes you feel, oh, I'm just being sold another boxed set that I have to buy. Not that you wouldn't buy it anyway. But apart from that, sensation. You are just dragged along. I was hoping for more banter between the Doctor and the Master, but that's all right. That's just something you have to live with. These characters are not insane. And of course, eventually, there is the culmination of the storyline, which I am so not going to spoil. One thing worthy of note. At the very end, a soldier turns up, and the soldier is played by Frank Skinner, using, of course, the one voice Frank Skinner has, which is the one he used on TV. Now, when Dark Eyes 2 came out, everyone went a bit, Frank Skinner? Is he a Doctor Who fan? Of course, now he's down as the celebrity Doctor Who fan, and everyone knows this. But when Dark Eyes 2 came out, it came as a bit of a surprise that he'd been hammering on the door, trying to get in to Big Finish for a while, not just Doctor Who. He was given, well, free reign. He also didn't bother getting paid for this. Or if he did, he got paid the minimal amount, because Big Finish couldn't have afforded his rates. He's doing it literally for the love of Doctor Who. He has got a few throwaway... He has got a few throwaway remarks, but that we can kind of live with and work with. It's not important. What is important is that this guy loved Doctor Who so much he's willing to do it for free, which in many respects is us. So I'll say farewell to Dark Eyes 2 and go away and listen to Dark Eyes 3 because I, for one, absolutely loved Dark Eyes 2. It may not have hit the incredible heights of Dark Eyes 1, but it was still worth listening to. Oh, yeah. If you like the Time War, if you like the Eighth Doctor, then listen to this, because this is the date... Because this is the Eighth Doctor from Night of the Doctor. He's wearing his bin man's coat, and it's all going to be all right. Eventually. Watch a man battle against the odds... And listen here with Dark Eyes too. So until next time, when I'll probably be talking about Doctor Who, be seeing you. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of crush injuries, uh, blast injuries. No, 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 no! Where are you taking I'm not taking you anywhere. You're just following me. Who are your heavy breathing friends? No, this looks promising. Mm. So this is.
This is what you really want, Doctor, is it? To die defeating the Daleks. Well, Doctor? There's more at stake here. As I went down to Dublin City At the hour of twelve at night Who should I see but the Spanish lady Washing her feet by candlelight Feet? <laughs> what have you been doing since you stole that antique TARDIS of yours? Since you first landed on Scar? It wasn't planned. Shouting, None of it was planned. Look at me! I'm not fighting a war while you battle the Daleks all the way through space and time. As we rise up and bank over the city, I see the familiar view. The remains of a great civilization, now defeated, broken. Come on, keep pushing! Keep pushing! That's it! That's it! In, 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 both of you! It's engulfing the corpse, the mummified body! Let me out! Open this door! It's happening again. Go! Now! Get them! Where? Where to? The priest hole. What priest hole? We just bounced off the edge of the universe. Slightly different, not to mention impossible. An infinity beyond your imagining. You bow down before me. I am come to your world. This is all horribly familiar, and it seems to be focused on us. What the hell's in that container? You really don't want to know. I can see. Can you hear me? Isn't a fellow meant to stop the Daleks at their creation once, you know? <laughs> but I hear he didn't have the stomach for it. You've been listening to the Tin Dog Podcast, available on RSS, iTunes, Stitcher, Audio Boom, and Tumblr. Doctor Who and its associated works are copyright of the BBC. No infringement is intended. You can contact the show, donate, buy merchandise, or find out more about my other projects by visiting the Tin Dog Podcast homepage and clicking on the links. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. <laughs> <laughs>